I think we're about ready to go. Yeah. Let me set this down here. All right, sorry for the delay. Uh, something came up right before that. I had to take care of. Anyway, before we start, let's go over the achievements that I have gotten so far in Dragon Quest Two. Not one. We don't need to know that. <clears throat> on. Sorry about that. Got ice cube. Okay. Obtain 50 gold and the copper sword from the first chest. Pretty simple. Get the Prince of Kanok to join your party. Obtain the Mirror of Ra. Turn the princess back to normal. Obtain the wind mantle. Obtain the ship. Obtain the echoing flute. That took... That, that was stupid to get. Uh, obtain the water crest. Obtain the moon crest. Obtain the sun crest. Uh, get all the items in the Tower of the Moon. Obtain the silver key, which I could have gotten way sooner, but I didn't go into the lake cave. Find the gold key. Buy the Jailer's Key. Obtain the Watergate Key. Get the Token of Erdrick. Obtain the Helmet of Erdrick. The Sword of Erdrick. The Shield of Erdrick. The World Map from King, uh, the Dragon Lord's Castle, which needed the Silver Key. Obtain the Armor of Gaia. Defeat a Metal Babel. Got lucky there. Probably will need to find find to defeat more of those talk to the spirit of the king of moonbrook with the princess in your party and obtain and uh get a puff puff that's what we got so far but now we shall continue on our journey level 19 okay all right Thousand EXP, that's not bad. Alright. I had to, like, rush to save in the closest town that I could warp to, which was this one. Don't use the inn. Don't use the inn here. Just don't do it. Okay, uh, last time we got... We ended with getting the moon fragment. And... Someone said, I think it was in, like, the island village. Someone said that there is a, a cave that's surrounded by coral that you need to use the moon fragment to basically change the tide around there so you can get in. Um, let me check the world map very quick. Alright. Now that I'm looking... Um, I think I need to head here, like, one of these spots for something. So, I think the fastest route would be to go south from here. I'm still going to keep this as a uh, warp spot to return to, but I'll have to use the inn somewhere else. You see this little triangle right here? This is where we do need to go for the moon fragment, but I want to check up here first, because I think there's something here I need to get. Uh, anyway, let's just head south. Actually, I might make the save at... Uh, the kingdom where we got the moon uh, fragment when I go to uh, when I go to use the moon the moon sigil it was the moon sigil the uh, where we fought the tiger right. and of course well I could have tried running away I just realized I'm going to need more lottery tickets, and I was dumb 
by wasting mine. I should have been holding on to them and putting them in storage. Just have like a good five of them. Then save and try to do the lottery just to get an achievement. Yeah, I should have. I should have stored them. That's on me. Heading down here. And two attack the sea slugs, infernos, the the jelly the jellyfish. Oh! Huh, damage range. Didn't get that one kill. Nothing. Let's see. Going all the way south about guard. Maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea to use out of guard as a save and in, but oh well. I think we can handle it. We are getting close to the point where we can start heading to the final, uh, the final area to go to the final boss. That doesn't mean I'm going to go and beat the final boss right now, but because some of these achievements basically require grinding. But we're kind of getting close to that point where a normal person would go and start trying to fight the final boss. <laughs> Maria's the only one awake. Okay. There we go. Let's see. This is what I was looking for. We probably saw it as we were passing by. Um, here, let me pull up the world map. Okay, so... Moonbrook was... This is Moonpeta here. Moonbrook was around here. So, we had to cross all the way, like, over here to get to the two tower, the two Dragonhorn Towers to get to the port town to get the ship. We probably had a chance to see the tower along the way. So, it is probably on me to f that I forgot about this tower. Whether, if I saw it or not. Please listen. To whom I don't... You whom I don't know. Have you come to search for a crest? I have. The crest is an object that is, that is the symbol of the mind. It is said that the symbol is ingrained in your inner strength. Where could such a thing be? We use the echo flute. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be here. Well, either way, let's explore the tower. This is technically a lighthouse or at least that's what I read online this is technically considered a lighthouse but I don't know it's just another tower to me ah saber wolves and gorgon heads luckily we are strong enough to be able to deal with them that being said the Sabertooths can still attack twice per turn. They are dangerous still. See? I think we want to go in here and head south. There isn't anything that requires me to get every chest in this dungeon, so we're good on that front. At least, I don't think there is. No. No, well, there isn't. Yeah, we're fine. Just need to get get what we're looking for and get out of here. Okay, that was a pointless dead end. I should have realized that. <laughs> we 
Okay. And then Infernos the Gorgon Heads. And Kane should have it. Yes. So it really depends on whether or not Kane just decides he's faster this turn. Oh. Head up here. Up and around. And probably take the inner path. On. Could be a hidden door. Mummy Man. They can't be affected by sleep. We could hit them with Surround. Okay. And it's not guaranteed. But then again... Uh, this is the thing. Like... Kane can kill him in two hits, and my character is in one. Is it even worth it? Probably not. Again, you should be able to head to this place immediately at, immediately once you get the, to the ship, so... Although, you're probably going to go to Alephgard first. But the fact that you could come here that early means that the enemies are around that point, that level. I think this is, these are just all the same enemies that are in Charlock. Okay. I think the Saber Wolf is more dangerous than the Prayer. Because I, I did think about putting the Saber Wolf to sleep. Yeah, if all he tries to do is stop spell, definitely worth getting rid of the Saber Wolves. Jeez, all these dead ends. Inferno, Scorgon Head. There we go. Wait, doesn't the isn't the light sword able to be used as an item? I forget what it does. I reached level 20. Strength by 6. Speed by 4. Vitality by 2. HP by 13. That's a good boost. Um. Nah, we're just gonna go with physical attacks all the way. I'm not gonna use surround. Looks like Maria and Kane attacking will work. Um, I want to try using the light sword as an item. I want to see what that does. I'm going to have the other two defend. It didn't work. A dazzling light? Huh. It didn't work on the mummy. Plain clothes. Oh, that's useless. That's only like 20 gold. Not really worth it. If I run out of storage, I will. Anyway, let me try it again. Ah, it's a free cast of surround. Interesting. Okay. That's what I thought it meant. Interesting. This is an item that might be worth handing to Maria, just to have her... Obviously, she can't equip it. But just so she doesn't have to waste MP to cast around. Something to think about. She could just use the item instead. Or the sword as an item instead. I could also have Kane do the same thing. But that's the thing. Kane is an okay physical attacker as well. To 
depending on what we're fighting. Oh, come on. Death Gods. Those specters, you know, they looked like they were missing a scythe. And it's because they just took that sprite and got rid of it. <laughs> so it does look off. Alright, um... Infernos. I almost like to make Maria... Like, obviously she's the spellcaster, but since there's not really a good, convenient way to recover MP, obviously other than using it in, I kind of treat her as, like, I, I give her items that can cast spells instead and have the other two mainly use physical attacks. Basically making Maria, whenever she needs to use magic, to make it mostly about healing. Uh, I think I'll cast Sleep, save some MP, since there's probably only going to be one left. I don't think the Fireball will work. Probably could have killed them all with Infernos, but... And, you know, saving, using your MP wisely is, like, something you really got to consider in this game. Ah, there it is. There are... It looks like there are four stairs. Now oh, Kane focus on the Gorgon. There we go. Don't want anyone hitting me with surround. Or dazzle, whatever translation you're using. Uh, I think there's just four sets of stairs. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Go up. I thought there was a way to a treasure chest. One second. There it is. Um. Infernos. Just get rid of them. I might have to have just have Kane just heal up. And what do we get? Gold. That's fine. No more Kane. At this point, I think Kane might as well just be the healer. Since he's mostly using physical attacks. But obviously, I want to save MP for something like evac and then zoom. I don't know. Yeah, that way Maria's MP is opened up for other things. All right, Molly. All right. Uh... Spending too much time on the first floor. There we go. Get out of here. Alright. Let's take one of these two staircases. Dead end. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Dragonflies! I couldn't hit... I don't think I can hit them with sleep or stop spell. I think we just need to just go with physical attacks. Fireball. Ugh. I think that... I think fireball is normally translated to fire breath. Because that makes more sense based on what it does. Fireball is like the single attack. 
Maria's level 15, strength by 1, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 7, MP by 6. And she learned Heal All, or Omni Heal, depending on which version you're... which translation you're using. I think it's just a Heal More, but it hits everyone. So, yeah, it can be pretty useful. I don't remember how much MP it costs. The enemies didn't see me, I'm just gonna run. Okay. Let's take... Let's take this one. Okay. Made the right call there. Save a little. Actually, hold on. We'll have Kane attack the Saber Wolf. Okay, so heal more is five. Heal all is eight. That's nice. So if heal all is the sa recovers the same amount of HP as heal more, and you need to heal everyone, it's you save a lot more MP by using heal all. Okay, that was not the correct path. Dead end. Okay, we went the wrong way. We need to take one of the bottom rats. Oh, undead men. That's... I haven't seen that guy yet. Alright, now I'll just use the wizard staff on him. There we go. Just physical attacker? That's not bad. And we found a lottery ticket. Thank you, I actually need more of those. Uh, heal more. Kane's the only one that really needs healing. Yeah, I need more lottery tickets. I'll throw them in storage. If I could get a good four or five of them. Probably spend some time on the lottery. I think I made the correct path so far. Oh, here we go. Treasure. We found a chain whip. That's just gold. Dead end. Okay. Okay. Um, let's focus on the gremlin, and we'll have Maria go with Infernos. Get rid of the gremlin. He could cast, like, fireball or something. It's ridiculous. And again, I do like how some of the enemies, like the undead men, have... You could tell they're followers of Hargon because they have that bat symbol somewhere on them. He has it on his shield. Like, those death gods or specters have the symbol, like, on their hats. Kind of like subtle uh, storytelling there. Like dragonflies here are just random monsters. But the undead men? No, no, no. Those are specific followers of Hargon. We, I don't think we had anything like that in Dragon Quest 1. There wasn't a clear indicator on like what was an obvious follower of the Dragon Lord. Save the wolves. We'll have Maria just attack the undead man. That's not good. Okay. I'll have Kane focus on him. Like you were supposed to. There we go.
Okay. Bottom left corner, like the route I originally took, seems to be the correct path. But there was a treasure in the bottom right corner. <coughs> this, we probably need to take a different staircase. Got some gold. Um, okay. What's in here? Okay, this looks like it loops around. Oh, never mind. Treasure. Okay. Get rid of the Gorgon heads. And we'll focus on the Gremlin. Oh, never mind. One still lives. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have Kane use heal more. There we go. Alright. Maria's using her MP on other things. A nut of life. Okay. We can save that for later. could always leave the dungeon to get my MP back at Elfgard, but I would have to still take the ship. I almost want to just finish the dungeon. Okay, so it was a dead end, but it led to treasure. And that's always worth it then. Set up here. Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, okay. I had a feeling I took over technically a wrong path. I should have had her focus on the undead man, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Okay, so Maria with the wizard staff and Kang can folk can kill a Gremlin. Good to know. All right, we took the wrong path somewhere. There we go. Come on. Now, of course, Kane missed. There we go. Not worth using Infernos. Ugh, okay. I can kill a gremlin in one hit. King and Maria can focus on the Gorgon head. We'll save the undead guys. There we go. And Kane can't kill it. So another turn. Alright. What else have we got? Up here. Another staircase. Perfect. Oh, never mind. What am I missing? Ah, there we go. This staircase. Perfect. 
careful where you step. You don't want to fall off. You easily fall off the edge. And then have to start over. Okay, one more enemy. I wonder how likely I can run away from these guys. I don't want to fight them anyway. I want to try to get lottery tickets when I can. Ah, here we go. So we needed, we needed the silver key, which you can actually have by now, so that's not a big deal. Wait, are we? No, we're higher up in the tower. I was going to say, did we somehow loop around? But no, we're higher up. Okay, no, there's three of these guys. Infernos. So let's try the top left again. There's another staircase, okay. You focus on the gremlin. You focus on the ants. You infernos the gorgon heads. Sadly, the ants can cast sleep, but hopefully we should be able to deal with the gremlin first. Okay, that worked out. Again, you're normally supposed to come here, like, immediately after you get the ship. Like, or I should say you can come here immediately after that. But this dungeon is pretty long. Okay, here we go. Now we're making some. Gold orcs. Yeah, okay, it's a good thing we came here later. Because these guys would be tough if we went here straight away after the ship. Fireball didn't work. See, it still takes like two turns. I could have cast sleep. Uh, there's like a loose hair. A bell amulet. I can sell that. Oh, hold on. Let me cast Heal More. Hmm. Hey, mysterious old guy. Did you see a gremlin pass by? Travelers, even, even if I reluctantly say nothing, you must follow me. Ho, ho, ho. Come with me. I can guide you to the crest. He seems trustworthy. Yeah, be careful. I love how he just kind of teleported in there. Can't move still. Don't know why. There we go. Uh, we'll have you focus on the Gorgon heads. I'm not going to use a magic spell. Yeah, honestly, this would be a tough dungeon if you come in right away. It is probably best that you save this tower for... for later. Because I am actually trying to think of if I went here basically right away. Like, um, let's just say I went to Alfgard first. Because it's right there. And then here? No, this would be a gauntlet. I probably would have had to leave by now. Or die. Either way. Okay, there we go. This old guy seems very trustworthy. Again, I love how he just teleports in.
Pretty sure that's not normal. Okay. Keep following him, I guess. Oh, here we go, a treasure. Now open the treasure chest. There was nothing inside. Kiki, I tricked you. This place will be your grave. Egads, we couldn't trust this old guy. Okay, four gremlins. Two of them are by themselves. And there's one group of two. Um, Firebane is just a single target. So how about I attack the group and I'll Infernos the group as well. Remember, we dealt with two gremlins in the port town. Dealing with four, especially if you come here straight away, would be very dangerous. Especially if they all casted like Fireball. Let's heal Kane. Oh, he healed himself. Okay, now we got this. Perfect. What? The gremlins were really in possession of one of the crests. We received the star crest. And that was another achievement. Right here. There we go. All right. Oh, oops. Uh, here we go. We're at, we are done here. We can leave. All right. Let me look at the world map very quick. We only got the one uh, lottery ticket? Okay, that's fine. Alright. I'm trying to remember what I need to do now. Uh, I know where the last crest is. So now, I think the goal is... I want to go back to Middenhall. I want to go back to Middenhall. I want to go here, save, and heal here. And then we're going to go here. Because we have the Moon Fragment. So, because I want to get here, the fastest route would actually be to warp back, then take the ship west, and go up. But I do want to heal up, and I can't do that here. We'll probably take a trip to out. Yeah, we'll probably take a trip to Alfgard very quick, just to heal up. Or the port town. Doesn't really matter. I just need to heal up in one of those spots. Right over here. Okay. I will not save here. Let's just have Kane cast heal more and heal everyone up. Wait. Nope. Heal more. Kane. And heal more. Maria. Alright, now we'll use this. Get my MP back. There's no... There's no vault here. So now I'll cast Return. Let's go and take care of, like, the vault and 
and storage very quick. Get out of my way. Alright, deposit. We'll focus on items. First... Let's throw the lottery ticket in. And then I'm gonna deposit... Uh, the nut of life, and that's it. Alright, leave that at B. We'll s sell a couple things. Let's sell the plain clothes. Might as well sell the antidote herb. I barely need it. Six gold. I mean, whatever. Kane can sell the chain whip and the bell amulet. Everyone has a bell amulet. Bell amulet. And there we go. That's all that. Let's throw my gold into the vault. How much do I have now in the vault? Oh! So, with that much money... I'm gonna actually take it all out. Hold on. I can buy... I can buy one power shield. Oh, that's amazing. All right, I am gonna actually hand that to Kane because he can actually equip it. And now we can sell the leather shield. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of the gold. I'm gonna put the rest of the gold back. 1,000. Or 10,000. 10, Whatever. Okay, that's done. So, the guy didn't say anything of how the power shield can work. <coughs> but, if you use it as an item, you can ca you cast heal more on yourself. I think I'll test that in battle. Alright. I want to go back to Middenhall. First, I am going to have you attack. I want to show it off very quick, just to show I'm not lying. Power shield, and let's just get rid of the trees. Runes, wounds were healed. That's all it said, but... So now I can just use Power Shield again. Actually, let's just use the Wizard Staff. So 45 HP, back to 72. Actually, it might just be a normal heal spell. Because that was only like 30, 30 health. Well, actually, isn't his max 72 HP? Hold on. Okay, his max is 72. So that wasn't the best example, but it's still a heal spell. So, that is definitely an item. Assuming it's not just a basic heal spell. That is an item you want everyone to hold on to. Even if they can't or won't equip it. Let's get rid of these guys. Just being able to have a free heal at any time you want in battle is so nice. And it will save a, a lot of MP. Totally worth it. Totally gonna be worth it. Okay. 
Again, going west. Where are we? Okay, keep going. Not far enough. I should have tried running, but uh, what a waste of a turn. I could have done that a little bit differently. Oh well. found this island. We need to head north. Infernos. We're just going straight to Middenhall first. Yeah, we're gonna ignore the one town on the island. Let's just go to Minute Hall. Ah, oh, Spectres. Now the our random encounters are already getting to me again. It's always when you're just trying to get somewhere, you know? Just continue north. Okay, I'll have you attack off command, the other two fight the sea slugs. That's a better use of my turn order. Okay, Kane's asleep, one, one run away. There we go, that worked out. There's a, there's a monolith by itself? Oh, right. Okay. We will need to come back here. But I'll show what's here. Assuming that I can do anything here. Yeah, just keep going down the stairs. No enemies. And nothing here. But we will need to come back. Just remember that this monolith exists, basically. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back here. Again, continue heading north. there. Alright. And Midden Hall is right there. Perfect. Okay. If uh, what I remember correctly is correct, let's, uh, let's use the inn, heal up, Now we're going to go to the king and save. We couldn't do this until we had the jailer's key. Oh, is that the princess of Moonbrook? I'm sorry about what happened. I'm really sad to hear what I'm really sad to hear to learn what happened to your father and the citizens of the castle. Though I'm glad that you're all right. I was very close to your father. If at any time something bothers you, <coughs> 
feel free to come and talk to talk with me. Thank you. Oh, thank you, King of Lauratia or Midihama. Good. All right. Oh, Kane's almost ready to level up. Yeah, and make a save. And we will continue the journey. Okay, we want to go down those stairs. Go into the jail room. Alright, this guy, let's see what he has to say. Uh, do you have the Jiro's key? Yes. If you open the door, I can tell you something good. Okay, that's not suspicious whatsoever. Oh, thank you. In repayment for opening my jail cell, let me tell you something good. I hear that the right life crest is in the cave that leads to Rome. That is useful information. This is the jail. Oh, Prince, you shouldn't go down here. First, let's cast Step Guard. Ho ho ho! So you've come to take me from here. What a noble thing to do. I'll present your corpses to Lord Hargon and myself. Okay. This is the fight I was thinking of. When we were talking to the thief that gave us the Watergate key, I thought that led to this fight. I got it confused with, you know, this jail cell. But this is the one where you definitely want to have a save beforehand. And ready to go, because apparently, it's this is a missable achievement. If you don't defeat him, you die, he escapes, and you miss out on it. But we're going to trade... This is basically a boss fight. We're treating this very seriously. Uh, let's go at just physical attacks, and let's try sap. Explode it. Oh, jeez. We might have to come back here later. Okay. I'm going to have to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my power shield, and I am going with heal all. Nope. Oh, he cast a fence on me. How come heal all... How come heal... Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Heal all was not what I thought it was. No, okay. Never mind. This is not omni heal. This is full heal. Single target. Okay. It's a single target heal spell that just fully heals you. Okay. I thought it was Omni Heal. My bad. There we go. This could be a dangerous fight if he just kept using Explode It. And he drops the Staff of Thunder. Very useful item. So. Who can equip it? I think Maria can. Oh, main hero can. Everyone can. But let's be honest, Maria kind of needs it. If anyone needs some sort of equipment, it's going to be Maria. Granted, we can use it as an item in battle. And that's going to be the main purpose of using it. There we go. I might as well just heal up at the end. It's not hurting anything. And to show that, I want to go. Here we go. Defeat the demon priest in Lauratia. I. If I actually caught that, I would have realized where it was, but I'm should I'm more used to Middenhall. And obtain the Staff of Th Thunder. That was a missable one. Apparently, I, I guess if you fail to beat him, I guess you can't refight him or something? Anyway. 
So now that we got that, that was a completely kind of... That was a completely optional fight you don't have to do on a normal playthrough. It just gives you the Staff of Lightning. It's not a required item, but hey, it's a better piece of equipment that anyone can use. Alright. I want to test out the Staff of Lightning. Staff of Thunder, whatever. Okay, you get you have to choose. And it's base it's a uh, zap. I think it's basically just Infernos. So honestly, that's probably just way better to have than the wizard staff. I don't think there's any point in having it. Having the wizard staff anymore. So that's probably going to be Maria's main way of dealing with enemies. Okay, so I want to go here. Because this is the closest spot to the sea dungeon. Or the sea cave. We are going to heal up at the end. Not that I really need it, but we're going to just be prepared. Is there anything I need to s Yeah, I'm going to sell the... Get out of my way. Okay. We did... Jailer's key, prayer ring, moon fragment. Okay, we're just going to sell the one wizard staff. And then we're just going to put the gold in the vault. There we go. I have enough money for the inn. Even though I don't really need it, but might as well. Again, my main goal with the money now is to save up for... Two more power shields. Because I don't think I'll need really any other piece of equipment. Okay, now I'm going to make a save. I want to be able to warp back here if I need to. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we're going to the sea cave, which we needed the moon fragment for. And it will help clear out inventory. So, with the world map, let's just kind of do this left and right. All right. Staff of Thunder on the lizard flies. There we go. Oh no, I can't use. No one can use. Uh, whatever. He missed. Thanks, Banishing Bell. And now Kane finally leveled up. Level 19, strength by 1, speed by 6, vitality by 3, HP by 7, MP by 3. Oh, here we go. So we need to stand here. Then we use the moon fragment. And he gets rid of all of those stones because I think the tide just rises, basically. All right, we are in the sea cave now. So there is an achievement here. We need to get every item here for an achievement. I, d I don't remember if Steph Guard works on these, and if they do, it's fine. Uh, Okay, Hell's Messenger and Devil's Eyeball. 
Let's see. Okay. Zap is not that great. Oh, they could drain my MP. Okay. Can I put them to sleep? Right now, I just need test. It worked on two out of the three. So it's not the worst idea. Okay. Then we need to find every treasure here. I remember this dungeon being kind of annoying. To focus on the Hell's Messenger, I will cast Sleep on the Devil's Eyeballs. And I only worked on one of them. Alright. I'll focus on the Blood Hand. I will use the Power Shield, and I guess I'll Staff a Thunder? Just to get some damage down. There we go, perfect. Uh, let's go north. Hey look, we found some treasure! A magic nut for more MP. Again, haven't used any of them yet. Going south, at least the stairs. Okay, what's in this room? Treasure! It was a trap! I was poisoned. Oh no. I'm so scared. Nothing up there. Nothing in that lava pool. There's a guy here. I heard that long ago a volcano at the bottom of the sea erupted and formed this cave. At times it's almost too hot to endure. I get how did you get here, dude? Yeah, there are a few spots that kinda loop around, so. Yeah careful when going through here. I don't remember the exact layout on where I need to go. Ooh, killer Tigers. I guess we know where the uh, the king got uh, Killer Tigers to trap him. Um, we'll try sleep. We'll cast sleep. Oh, it doesn't work. I guess you need to cast surround. Alright. Heal all, then. Power shield. Okay, Maria needs healing. I think she only needs a heal more. Yeah. I don't think she has the HP to really need a heal all. Or a full heal. Okay. This time, I'm gonna cast Surround. Ouch. Ah, uh, Maria's dead. Okay. You think they would have missed a lot more. At least they don't attack twice. But they are still strong. Okay, good. So. Okay. 
outside. Return. Yeah, I knew this dungeon was going to be tough. Alright, time to revive Maria, and then we'll stay at the inn, take care of, like, putting stuff in storage and all that, and then head back. We don't need to save. Yeah, Castle Town Cave Tower Monolith. The only one left is the cave, and we were told by the one guy that it's in the cave to roam. Five. Maria. Three hundred gold. There we go. Let's heal at the end first, put stuff in storage, and then we should be good. Closet, items, magic nut. That's all I really need. Did I achieve world peace? We're working on it, Hot Corn Dog. We're working on it. So, uh, you haven't missed too much. We got the star sigil and there was a a Hargon priest that was trapped in the prison in Minidhal in the first town in the first castle and by beating him we got the staff of thunder oh do I still have the I do still have the moon fragment I think I can throw that in storage now but you know we'll double check The tower uh, that had the star fragment, or the star sigil, whatever, took a little while. Let's have Kang kill the jellyfish, and then we'll use the Staff of Thunder. I think Infernos has a better damage range, maybe? But hey... Staff of Thunder doesn't cost MP. We also bought Kane a power shield, and when you use it as an item, it basically casts a heal more. So just a couple, two more of those. I want to give everyone that shield. These random encounters, man. Man, what's been going on, Hot Corn Dog? Oh, and the guy in the jail cell in Middenhall said that the last, the last sigil we need is in, is hidden in the cave to Roan, and Roan is the. That's the final cave we need to go to to get to the final, the final, uh, dungeon. And we're getting close to the point where we can head to the cave to roam. How does the guy in jail know that? That's a good question. That's a very good question how he knows where he is. But, hey, you need to be pointing in that direction somehow. Because I forgot it, I forgot it was there too. And it, it's just one of those things where you'd probably just be going around in circles, being like, I don't want to go to the final dungeon until I get all of the sigils. But no, you kind of need to go to the final dungeon. Beat Fall DLC, very nice. So haven't started the quest to find your missing son. That can, uh, yeah, just finding your son, that can wait for the next time. He, he, he's missing now, he'll still be missing tomorrow. <laughs> we'll find him later. 
Uh, yeah. So right now we're going through a uh, this, a sea cave or ocean cave, whatever, whatever it's called. And we needed the moon fragment to raise the tide around the rocks surrounding it. So that's why we need that's why we needed to go to that moon tower first. And there's an achievement for this one, for this area, to find every treasure. Uh, let's ignore that for now. Ignore that staircase. Oh, they didn't see me? I should be able to run. Yeah. Okay, what's down here? Just kind of a weird loop. Yeah, this ga this cave can be a little confusing like that. I do think I need to go up past that lava pit. Old orcs. Let's cast... Can I cast sleep? No, it doesn't work. Probably better off casting surround. Okay. Alright. No surround. It didn't work. Huh. Are they immune or do they just have high resistance? That's annoying. Nope. Physical attacks it is. Oh yeah. So, yesterday I went to the movies and uh, I went to see uh you know the, the anime Spy X Family? Well, they aired the movie there, apparently, like it just came out in America. Mainly, I went to go just to kind of, you know, support more anime movies going to our theater. That's the main reason. It's... It exists. It's, sleep doesn't work on bloody hands? I mean, makes sense. I don't know why I thought that would work. Uh, I better cast heal more. DLC is really short. It's mostly a very short guide on the new stuff it gives, and by the end of it, you get a new settlement. Okay. Uh, is there anything good about the new settlement that you get? Cast surround on Ujjas. Yeah, the movie was just kind of meh overall. It's like... The show is better, not because the movie is non-canon, or just complete filler, whatever. It's more of like... The show... Because of what the show is, or what the story is, it's kind of a mix... Like, it, it kind of does some slice of life stuff here and there, and then some spy stuff here and there. That works better as a TV show. As a movie, they try to get it all... Like, they try to cram it all in. Almost, it's almost like it's treating it as like, hey, you've never seen the show, watch the movie. And then if you like the movie, watch the show sort of thing. So it's trying to give you a good idea of how the show is. Kind of structured, and if you like it, you watch the show. But I think that hurts the movie. Because it doesn't know what to focus on. And it just kind of feels like a bunch of ex episodes like combined together into one. If that makes sense. Uh, let's go with Staff of Thunder. Okay, there we go. You get the biggest settlement in the game, like a whole vault space. Ooh. That sounds nice, actually. That sounds like a good reward for uh, DLC, if it's the biggest settlement that you can get. Alright, let's go with the Power Shield and Physical Attack.
Yeah, this was definitely a because they could, not that they should have. It, the show is better structured within a TV show format that's like 20 minutes long, basically what it normally is. Because it could be like one episode, we're just focusing on like the slice of life type of format, and a different episode, like it does, it does the slice of life stuff for like one or two episodes with a little bit of spice stuff sprinkled in for comedy. Ooh, another prayer ring. That's gonna be soul. Not soul. Storage. Oh, okay. I see where we are. And then once we do slice of life for a little bit, then we have an episode two just focusing on uh, the spy stuff. Just to kind of change it up, you know? When you might be getting bored of one, it's gonna swap it up on you just so you don't get too bored. The movie's just trying to combine all aspects of the show into one movie. And I don't think it does that great of a job. Because what works in the show for the, its 20 minute runtime, you have to combine it all together for a nearly two hour movie. Warren is very dangerous. Opening the place. Found a legendary death claw. Red scor Rad scorpions, not red. Rad scorpions, okay. And Mirror Look Queen. A nightmare fighting the queen. Huh. So wait, uh what's a mirror look queen? Queen. I don't think I... I don't think you ever explained what that is. Uh. No, I don't need to use spells since I have to stab the thunder. Mire Lurk. Okay, a Mire Lurk. Okay. But that's... I still don't know what that is. I'm gonna have King use a power shield and heal up. Never mind. First, I'm gonna have Maria cast heal more. <coughs> I could have cast full heal though. Eh, doesn't matter. Step guard. Have you located the Temple of Fire? I think I did, but hold on, no. I hear that somewhere in this cave is a temple that is dedicated to the worship of the evil gods. Wait, is a temple that is de Okay. In that place, there should be a clue that gets you closer to Hargon's temple. It is, the, it is best to be careful. The, e the worshippers of the evil gods are sure to be protecting the temple. Did we locate it? Well then go! Perhaps you can you people can defeat Argon. Yeah, honestly, I think the movie just needed to pick it up. Chat. I I can't move. I'm trapped. I don't know why, but I'm trapped. Well, I, I guess that's a sign to get out of here. I don't know why the game decided to do that, but... Might as well heal up. It's a giant crab enemy who spawns baby mire lurks. Hits hard and spits acid with very far range. It does impact damage and damage over time. Okay. Uh, are they very are mire are mire lurk queens very dangerous or are they just very annoying? Uh, do I have anything? Okay, I'm throwing throwing player ring in the. Okay, I don't need the Moon Fragment anymore. So... 
the strongest enemies in the game. Okay, so they are dangerous. I'm gonna throw in the prayer ring. It's always great to have extras. We're gonna throw in the moon fragment, because we do not need it anymore. And we'll store the gold. Alright, how much gold do I have now? Another... 5,000 gold should let me buy another shield. I'll just use the holy water. It's not a big deal. Even power armor, if you're not careful, they could destroy your pieces of armor and then kill you. Ooh. Ouch. And those are just regular enemies, basically, right? It's not like a special boss or something, right? And I'm assuming they're in the normal game, too. Right? It's not a DLC-exclusive monster. Well, it helped me travel through the ocean. That's good to know. Alright, let's explore more of the cave. Yeah, everyone up there. We need to get rid of Hell's Messenger, Staff of Thunder. We need to use them blood hands. Once we get rid of Hell's Messenger. Good. I can have Kane use his power shield to heal up. Ugh. Now we're getting to the problem with blood hands and muddy hands. Like this type of enemy. They just love calling for help. Oh, I should have had Maria heal up too. They are bosses. They don't spawn randomly, but only appear on specific locations or on a side quest. Okay. Usually, you have to activate them to spawn by killing Myrolurks and attacking its egg nests. But they are considered boss fights. Okay. So, I thought for a second they were, like, considered normal enemies. Uh, is the rad scorpion kind of like that too? Oh. You said rad scorpion, Meyer, Meyer queen, and legendary death claw. That's what it was. Are they all considered like bosses or something? Okay, they didn't see me. I could just run. No, not that staircase. Gonna go over here. Okay. Stop the thunder. Is actually not that low on health, so I'm not worried about that. We just attack like normal. Death Claws are a more common enemy, but once in a while they're used as a boss for a location or quest. But this is a legendary Death Claw that you said it was. Is it. Is that one considered a boss? 
Right, Molly? Who are you barking at? Level 21. Strength by 6. Speed by 3. Vitality by 1. HP by 6. Right, let's take this pathway. Go past the lava field and down the stairs. Oh, door. Let's grab this treasure. There's two treasures here. Okay. Let's focus on the killer tigers. And... Step of Thunder, I guess. Just go all out. Appear more often on harder difficulties. Oh, it just happened to be legendary. So it's basically just a normal enemy that just got buffed. And it it's a random encounter sort of thing. Okay, I see. Yeah, go ahead and try to heal your friend. Yeah. Might as well heal Maria. And in this treasure, it was a trap. Oh no, I'm po <coughs> I'm poisoned. <coughs> okay, what's in this treasure? We found a strength seed. That's useful. And what's down here? Okay, I can see another treasure chest there. Um, we could kill them all. We could kill it if we just attack. Oh, nope, it missed. Zap missed. Okay. Well, it worked out. Rad scorpions are are not bad bosses. They are rare enemies that are probably one of the more annoying creatures to fight. Okay. So the only one that was really a boss was the was the Mire Queen. Okay. Mire Lurk Queen. My bad. Ooh, okay. Surround. Okay. I think I'm going to heal more my character. There we go. I'm gonna have Kane use his power shield, and then we'll use the Sap of Thunder. And never mind, Kane didn't get his heal in, but it's fine. It's all good. Uh, hold on. Let's grab the treasure. Gold orcs can heal, but killer tigers are killer ta tigers are really dangerous. Yep, uh, they hit for decent damage. They can apply toxins. For the first time in Fallout history, they can dig down and jump behind you. Oh, I can see how that could be annoying. I gotta, I gotta spend time healing. worked out. Uh, I don't need Kane to heal. I don't need him to top off his HP. Doing pretty good. There's a bunch of staircases here. But first, let's go grab this treasure. And we found magic armor. All right. 
Let's see. We can hand <coughs> we can hand it to Kane. I think I wanted a pair. I think I wanted this armor. Yeah, here's the trade-off. It has the same defense as the evasion clothes, although later versions of the game, magic armor has more defense than the evasion clothes. But here's the trade-off. Evasion clothes has a 20% chance of just evasion to dodge. Whereas magic armor reduces magical attacks by three-fourths. Honestly, I think that's more useful than the 20% invasion chance. Wait. Okay, magic armor. Oh, wrong. I, I see what happened. I was pressing the wrong button. Sword of Roto, magic armor, power shield. There we go. Okay. This is dangerous. Ouch. Okay, we got rid of one of them. I need to have... Erdrick attack. I am going to heal from Kane, Power Shield, and I will heal Erdrick. Honestly, with Kane, it's basically a full heal. That Power Shield is might as well just be a full heal. That's so good on him. Well, it's really due to how much HP he actually has. There we go. Um... Okay, pick a stair, any stair! Case. It will lead somewhere. It's probably in that one in the bottom corner. Okay. Step guard. Let's see. I think we want this upper one. Skull Knights and Puppet Man. Let's focus on the Puppet Man and let's see if I can... Uh, surround. Let's go with surround. Yeah, that was worth it. Uh, they're casting defense. Uh, sap. Okay. Okay, surround was a good option. Again, I could have. I could have my character use the light sword to cast around, but I'd rather have him attack. Again, I almost want to buy another one. Just to hand to Maria so she doesn't have to constantly use MP for it. This is the right way. This is a good sign. We find dragonflies and skull knight. I think let's so if you guys work on the Skull Knight, use the Staff of Thunder. <coughs> Rat Scorpions are the second thing that got above the follow. For before they were kind of slow, and in 1 and 2, they were very easy to kill. In 3 New Vegas, they are still slow and easy to kill. In 4, they're your worst nightmare in early levels. Or uh, pain in later, later levels. I'm assuming there are pain in later levels if there's a bunch of them. 
So it sounds like a much needed buff for common enemies, but at the detriment of the player. I mean, I'm not compl- like, do they really need to have a buff? Because I'm not complaining that slimes are super weak, you know what I mean? <laughs> if if that's just the enemy type, that's the enemy type. I think we just did a big circle. I think that was just a big circle. Um... See what I mean? This cave is a little confusing. Ooh. They also got bigger. Power shield. Staff of thunder. Instead of being the size of red scorpions, they are now the size of a lion. That's also... That also sounds dangerous. again. Step guard. Um, do I need to go down there? I should probably take the time to heal Maria. Scorpions in the previous games, one and two. They are similar size to four, but they were easy to kill. Three and four, they did have big ones, but they were easy to escape from and just jump on a rock or something, and they can't hit you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, let's try down these stairs. Nah, I'm not gonna use step guard. I think we made it to the end. Oh, there's metal hunters here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we get we have robots in Dragon Quest, by the way. Never mentioned this. <laughs> to be honest, I thought, I forgot they were in this game. Yeah, there's just randomly robots in Dragon Quest. There's no reason for it. There's just robots. <laughs> So they made them more of a rare things. Hmm. Skull Knights is defeated. Maria rose to level 16. Strength by 3, speed by 6, vitality by 3, HP by 5, MP by 8. Okay, we made it. This is actually the final part. Insolent fools! You will disgrace the Temple of Fire! We will sacrifice your souls to our gods! That's a visual glitch. Anyway, two hell messengers. Uh, I am gonna focus on... I guess I'll just focus on healing with Maria. Because they'll just cast defense. So, actually, no, hold on. I'm going to lower the defense. I, you, Maria goes first anyway. Don't we just love visual glitches? 
Honestly, I think I'm just gonna do the same thing again. There we go. How can this be? Lord, Lord Hargon! Ah! Alright, let's do some healing. I'll have Kane heal a bit, actually. He has way more MP right now. Gotta heal more. There we go. And here we have the Statue of Evil. Yeah! It could also be called the Eye of Milroth, or it could also be called... Uh, the false idol, I think. Either way, this is a requirement. But we still don't have every treasure. You know what? I'm still missing some treasures, apparently. So, let's try to explore a little bit more before leaving. Unless I really need to get out of here. But... The, the false uh, the false idol is what we came in here for. The second strong enemy in the game are the behemoths. They are the first introduced in Fallout 3. They are treated similarly to Meyer Lurk Queens. The jump in power from Death Claws. Third strong to behemoth is insane. Uh, there's a spot on the map where you can find two Death Claw fights and a behemoth. And the, and the Death Claws lose big time. Oh, do enemies attack each other in Fallout? I, I love the visual glitches, by the way. Don't you love it? If Marina starts getting too low on MP, I'll just leave and then come back in to find, like, whatever treasure I'm missing. Okay, this should be the last turn. Oftentimes, while walking around, you hear gunshots and find two groups shooting at each other, or sometimes one creature gets too close to another group. The creature fights each other. That's kind of cool. I like it when games do that. Not many games do that, though. Uh, I can't think of too many examples of it, though. Uh, I know it happens in Pokemon, and I think it started in Gen 6, where... Uh, Gen 6 had uh, horde battles where you fight five Pokemon at the same time and uh, for very specific fights uh, you can find a horde battle where it's like depending on the version of the game that you have you can find a battle with like four Zangoose and one Surviper or vice versa and in that battle the, the Zangoose and Surviper will just attack each other. It's hilarious. <clears throat> Which makes sense because Zangoose and Surviper are, you know, in lore purposes, they are known to actually not like each other. So it works within the lore of Pokemon. But stuff like that doesn't happen too much. Uh, now I'm trying to think of other examples of monsters just fighting each other specifically. There's probably other examples, I'm just not thinking of it right now. Puppet Man. I think we could just get away with just Sap Thunder. Oh, right. They, I would want to put them to sleep just so they don't drain my MP. Yeah, 
Usually it's humans versus humans, but once in a while you'll find something rare. Like, only twice you've seen two death claws fight each other. Hmm. I feel like there's something in Xenoblade where there might be an example of two and two monsters like fighting over territory. But that might have been like a very small, like one enemy type sort of thing. Oh yeah, we're back here now. Uh, the problem is I don't know where I don't know where that other treasure is. Kane's gonna have to heal. You'd think some enemies cannot avoid lightning attacks because they have like a, a metal weapon, you know? Be treated as a lightning rod. Lightning rod. Uh, let's try going... Staff of Thunder. Let's actually attack a gold orc instead. Raiders fight a death claw. Super minions fight a death claw. Blood flies, fight a death claw. Robots fight a death claw. Hmm. A lot of death claws are involved, huh? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Pal World kind of does it, but you usually don't see the pals fight each other. It's more of like the enemy, like Team Rocket group, fighting some some pal. You know, but I I can't think of a, like a pal fighting another pal. Just in the wild. Increase the number of death claws of what is is there a limited amount of death claws? Are there only a certain amount of them in in the game? just working our way backwards because I think I skipped these staircases. Nope, nothing there. There's one other spot I could check. Remember where I got just locked in a wall for some reason? There was a pathway there. Maybe there's a, uh, maybe there's a treasure that way. Now, how did I get there? I think I had to go south. Puppet man. They just increased the chance to appear by power. Oh, okay. I see. They are super rare outside of... Areas that are supposed to be in, follow four death claws, don't go, don't have a location specifically to them. So they are everywhere, all the fights in this. Ah, uh, okay. I, I'm understanding now. Actually, I'm gonna have to heal. Oh, I'm starting to lose MP. Yeah, it doesn't work on Erdrick. He has no MP. There's no MP to steal. Okay. Is there one over here? I honestly get this cave confused. Uh, focus on the 
gold orcs. Staff of Thunder on the Blood Hands. Just to try to get spread out some of the damage. There's a boneyard where they're at in two. They got a whole vault in three. They have their own. They have their own have? I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, New Vegas, they got two locations and four. They got nothing, and instead it seems like they're just trying to take over the entire place. Imagine if that was just the plot of Fallout 4. In three, they have their own cave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was the plot of one of the games. Death Claws just have left their native area, and they have to be stopped. There's too many of them. Okay, I ask. I have no idea where this other treasure is. I might pull up a map for this. Uh, I don't like this cave. And Maria's basically out of MP, okay. We're just gonna warp out. Two cave. Like a side quest or something. Yeah, at the very least, it could be a side quest. Yeah, I, you know what, I'm just gonna get out of here. We're gonna take one more trip, hopefully one more trip into the sea cave, because I am missing an achievement. Maybe it was that open chest. Uh, hold on. Statue of Evil, Bell Amulet, Salvation Forest, Jailer's Keys. Or maybe there's just more chests, I don't know. I just kind of need a rough idea of where I missed. Alright, first let's heal up. It's just like, e it's like Death Claws have been spreading out their territory more and more each year. They're getting more and more dangerous. They're threatening each settlement every time they show up and leave their nest. They must be stopped. Uh, we can sell a couple bell amulets. We can sell the evasion cloves and the bell amulet. Anything here? Nope. There, got a lot of money out of that. Alright. Let's first deposit the gold. And I think that's the only thing I need to deposit. I have enough money to buy another power shield, but there's not one here, right? Power shields aren't here. Yeah, it's just magic armor. We'll go get a power shield later. Okay, hold on. The numbers are the... Oh, I see where it is. Okay. I think I know... I think there's only one more chest, and I think I know where it is. Stab of Thunder... One more left. Are you gonna run? Nope. You fool! You should have left while you had the chance.
Alright, time to go right back in. Step guard? There it is, right there. People complain about Death Claws being a more common enemy in 4. We kind of got nerfed. They look awesome and terrifying. In 4, but their attack pattern is atrocious. Instead of A to B, they zigzag a ton. Mm. Walk away, then come back. And sometimes just leave the area. <laughs> they don't do that to other NPCs. But to you, they lose all brain cells to questionable battle tactics. It's almost like the creator's just like, how can we make Death Claws more annoying to the player? I know. We're gonna make them, like, lose all train of thoughts whenever they find uh, the player character. And we found some gold. That was the last treasure here. And... Get all the items inside the sea cave. All right. Now we can warp out. We're done here. Yeah, I didn't want to be in there much longer. All right, what's left? I'm gonna we'll map this. Oh, I forgot to put the strength seed in storage. Oh well. Okay. We still have a leaf of the world tree. We need one more sigil, which is in the cave to Roan. That's it. Okay, we can go to the cave of Roan now. We have the false god, or the eye of Malroth, you know, or false, false idol, whatever. So what we can do is head back to... Okay, we're gonna just head east. We can start. He we could go into the cave of Rome. Uh, Staff of Thunder, the jellyfish. While the cave of Rome is not the final, like dungeon per se, because there's still like the final castle, the cave of Rome is known to be very difficult gauntlet to get to the final dungeon. The Cave of Roan is notorious in the NES version. I have never played the NES version, but like the Cave of Roan is very bad. Like, the Cave of Roan is the reason why people say Dragon Quest 2 is hard. And it is hard. <laughs> right, Molly? It's the Cave of Rome. Well, we're gonna take a few trips in there to find some treasure. Right, Molly? We're gonna find some treasure. Treasure! My dog's very needy right now. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll play with one hand for a second. Okay. Hawkman, Draki, Staff of Thunder, Sea Slug. Should have bought like a hundred copper swords and then get them electric five and then chucking them at an enemy. Honestly, based on this game, you just need one electrified and then use it as an item and then you could cast down lightning. I mean, if the Staff of Thunder works like that, a, a Sword of Lightning would do the same thing. Speaking of Swords of Lightning, we did hear rumors about a Sword of Lightning existing, but we don't know where it is. Okay. We two focus on the Sea Slugs, Staff of Thunder. I don't want to save in this town. 
because if I need to heal at an inn, I still can't use this town. Again, there is a reason for it, but... <laughs> on a normal playthrough, if you weren't going for achievements at all... Uh, oh, Kane's level 20. Strength by 2, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 4, and he learned increase. I think that is that is buff or kabuff, which is boosting your defense. Or I should say the party's defense. So it's a good spell. Uh... Yeah, if I wasn't going for achievements, I would have just used the inn and got got that whole thing taken care of to not worry about it. But again, there's a reason to not. Don't don't do it. Don't use the inn. And I won't save here either. Uh, first, I want to deposit the strength seed. Oh wait, no, 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 not the gold. Items. First, let's throw in the strength seed. I think that's the only thing I need to deposit. We'll grab all of my gold. Actually, we don't need all of it, but I'm just going to grab it all anyway. All right, weapon shop. Let's buy another power shield. I am going to hand it to Maria. She can't equip it, but that is fine. It's there to just cast heal more for free. And let's put the rest of the gold back. No, Molly, you're fine. You're fine. Come on. All right. I want one more power shield. Don't use the N. Don't do it. It's a mistake. Don't do it. And this this girl won't leave. This girl won't let me leave. I think it was because it was mid walk animation, so she wasn't moving, so I had to move out of the way. That's probably what happened. All right. Step guard. Take this warp. Might as well use step guard again, because these things deal a lot of damage. Alright. Now we want to go left. And... We want to step in the swamp. Oh, they suddenly attack. Come on. Alright, fine. You know what? I'll heal, and I'll cast sleep. There we go. Perfect. Defeated. Step guard. I think we need to stand here. Then we use the Statue of Evil, Eye of Malroth, you know. There it is. Okay. The Cave to Rhone. Oh. Cave to Rome. We're going to be spending some time here. We're mostly going to go for treasure. That's what we're really going to focus on right now. I especially do not want to actually make it all the way through. And we found the life crest. Just in a treasure chest. Randomly. Why is it here? Honestly, I'm assuming Hargon stole it and hid it here. And honestly, it was smart of him. That was actually a good plan. Step guard. Okay, we're going to be looking for treasure. Uh, 
I don't think. Whoa! You surprised me. Please don't be frightened. I'm here so Hargon won't discover me. I couldn't stand the atrocities of the evil gods, so I finally ran away to this secluded place. I have some top secret information for you. You're definitely near Hargon's temple. Well then, goodbye. Was he a ghost? Or was he somehow hiding? Mm hmm Let's see. I don't remember where we need to go, but we're here to find treasure. All right, I forgot. There's trap, uh, trap floors. Or pitfalls, there we go, that's the word. Surround. Boost in defense, that's not good. But now that we have all five of the sigils, we need to do something else before we actually make it all the way through the cave to Rome. I'm just doing an item run while we're here. Now, if you were playing other versions of this game where you have zoom instead of return, go ahead and go through the cave of Rome if you want. But since we have return and not zoom, gotta play this a little bit more carefully on how I want to do things. Because once you make it through the Cave of Rome and you make it to the other side, there is a monolith where you can save and heal. And it's a free heal, I think, too. However, uh, however, even if, once you do that, once you save there, if you cast return, you're going back there. So if there's anything else you need to do, you have to go through the Cave of Rhone again. And I would understand why you would not want to do that. But... We do need to get all the way over there at some point. I'm not sure how I want to handle this. Oh, Vebiers. I think we'll just attack it normally. We'll cast around on the Skull Knights. I only worked on one. Okay. That's what I was worried about. Firebane. Okay. Power shield. I will cast full heal. There we go. That worked out. Okay. Oh, my defense dropped. Alright, let's use my own power shield. Aren't power shields nice? Yeah, this area has the toughest enemies. Well, maybe not the toughest enemies in the game, but like second to toughest enemies. And it is a maze. This place is just a maze. Dead end. Unless there's a pitfall. Eh, that's fine. Uh, let's take... Let's take this staircase. Here we go. This is the main reason. This is basically Lost Woods. Good luck trying to find your way through. Ghouls can be hit by surround. Oh, that's not bad. So, 
Thunder. I wonder if metal battles are in here. I know where they can be found. We found some near the moon tower. Oh, never mind. There's just a bunch of metal slimes here. Granted, I think metal babbles can give more EXP per kill. But maybe if we could find more of this enemy group, we'll have a better shot at leveling up. Hey, we got one. Yeah, a, okay. A single metal battle is basically... Let's just add a zero at the end. <laughs> you know, let's just give you a bunch of experience. Uh, yep, I am lost. I do not know where I'm going. Um, yeah, just Staff of Thunder. Average cave moment? No, this is definitely a, uh, this is almost Lost Woods. Actually, no. If, if you ever played Zelda and you've done and you gone through the Lost Woods, that's what this is. It's a it's a cave that just kind of never ends until you find the staircase. It infinite. It it just constantly loops. This room right here is what throws people off. Power shield. I might end up pulling up a map, but maybe later. You see, we made it all the way back to the loop. You know what? I will pull up a map to the Cape of Rome because there's a way to find out. Uh, Plus two. Cave. Uh, I really don't like this dungeon. I really don't. Okay. Cave to Rome. Okay, I see where two are. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, wait a minute. Where are we if I do this? Okay, back to, back to start. Oh, I see. If you go down here, it's another room like this. If we didn't loop yet. It just led down here, so there's two ways up here. So keep that in mind. In both cases, you go right, and you need to count the split paths. One, two, three. On the third set, okay, hold on. Well, we're dealing with metal slimes. I think they're. I think this last one's gonna run. Oh no, he's staying in.
Gotta take the time to kill a metal slime. If possible. Okay, here. here right. Yeah, once you get to the third intersection, here's the stairs. If you don't find it immediately, just check the next room in, in the third intersection. Just pick a direction and start going that way. Alright, we found our way through. Basically, if you when you go right, there are five intersections before you get to the far end that loops back to the first set of staircase that you got here in the first place. Just go to the third middle section and then just go up or down until you find the stairs. I remember it was something that simple, but I couldn't remember the exact layout. It is a confusing section. All right, surround. Oh, they don't work on... Surround doesn't work on Berserkers. Okay. I am going to... F heal all. There we go. I'm going to... Power Shield... Sap of Thunder. Won't be enough to kill... That's fine. Next time I'll try casting sleep. Okay. Over here. I still have the map pulled up. I'm gonna try not to look at it because that was the main that was the main problem. Was that one room. This route leads to treasure. We found a mystery cap. I think it's also called the mad cap. We want to give that to... You can either either hand it to Kane or Maria. I'm handing it to Maria. Staff of Thunder, Evasion Close. You can't equip that. Mystery Cap. I think that is her only helm that she can equip. I think that one reduces MP consumption by like three-fourths or something, or half, or something. it's something ridiculously good. Let's take a look. Oh, no, still the same. Maybe that's in later games or something. Uh, let's try sleep. Oh, no. Okay. It says it costs two MP, but if you, I looked at the stream, it only went down by one instead of two. So, it says it costs two, but really it's costing one. Power shield, sap of thunder, let's get rid of the killer machine. Uh, I will heal myself. Power shield. There we go. It's like they have the defense of metal slimes, but the attack power of a normal enemy. <laughs> there, Maria's MP consumption is something you don't need to worry about. I would I would suggest handing it to Maria more than Kane. As you can see, I'm kinda using Maria's MP a lot more than Kane's. Level 22. Strength increase by 6, speed by 6, vitality by 3, HP by 9. If there is a way to get another one, I think it said in other versions, Metal Babbles have a chance of dropping another one. But not in this game, I think. But if there is another enemy that drops another madcap, then hand it to Kane. Other than that, you don't. Erdrick has no MP, there's no point. Okay. Gonna have to heal him soon. But obviously try to do it in battle. Oh no, I'm poisoned. If I... Oh, you can't cure poison. 
this turn, that's right. Uh, yeah, we'll cast heal more, it's not a big deal. Eh, you defeated him, never mind. Oh no, I am poisoned, whatever shall I do? Alright. Let's take the northern path and grab this treasure. Staff of Thunder. Let's start working on the orc. Uh, Maria needs healing now. Pretty much a full heal right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal Erdrick. But I could do that in battle. With a full heal. Found some gold. Uh, let's get rid of the corpse first. And I think I could get away with heal more. It should cost me... I think it's rounded up, so... I think it'll be 3 MP. So I should be at 60. Yeah, okay. It just doesn't say that's how it works. A shield. Set thunder. Try to keep my HP up when possible. Okay, that's fine. What is over here? Dead end. Don't need to go there. on the gargoyle. Staff of Thunder on the rotting corpse. So I don't want to get poisoned. That's worse than taking 50 damage. That's 3 MP I have to spend just to get rid of it. Uh, Power shield, why not? Stay topped off. in here. Dead end. We go up this way to the water. Staff of Thunder. Focus on the rotting corpse. Okay, I think I could just have Erdrick take out the gargoyles. It's a one-hit kill. Then we can have Cain focus on rotting corpses. I ah, used heal more. No. Okay, good. and around. I don't have... I still have the map pulled up, but I don't have the page open. So I don't fully remember where all of this leads me. I have it as a just-in-case. Oh, shield. Um, and Kane is dead. Well, that was our ticket out of here. Okay. Um, Staff of Thunder. Now we basically need to get out of here. 
You got Urzura, lucky. Maybe a dancer, but her kit reads hit and run. Well, got a little lucky with that. Uh, let's use the Leaf of the World Tree. And Kane has been revived. He's at full health, too. Okay, I need to consider getting out of here soon. In case that happens again. Oh, two treasure. We found a Hades shield. Or a Hades shield. That might just be... T okay, gold. More defense for me, but it's got to be cursed. Um, Let me check something very quick. I don't think there's anything fight with extra dialogue. Nope. Okay. We could probably just either sell it or put it in storage. Her weapon has Kanto. Oh, wow. I can see why. Hey, look! Dragons! It's almost like this game is called Dragon Quest for a reason. <laughs> Flames. All right. Um, power shield. Power shield. Good. Only one dragon left. Heal all. Oh, good. I got that off. Oh, that was dangerous. I am pushing my luck right now. Take a note, Final Fantasy. You may be fantasy, but you're not final. Exactly. Exactly. Well, considering that almost every Final Fantasy game is basically a one and done, and they don't really have sequels, is it possible that each story is the final of that world? So, in that world's case, it's the final fantasy? No, probably not. Like, there's not a sequel to Final Fantasy 2. That's the only story within that world. So, in that game, that world's case, that was the final fantasy. Got like a prequel sequel. Yeah, exactly. That's why I wasn't counting Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> Because of freaking Stranger's Paradise. I wasn't counting that. That's why I went to Final Fantasy 2. That's my default. Alright, uh, sleep. Okay, he healed himself. Probably had a full heal in his case. But like, oh, uh, Gwena was playing Strangers of Paradise. I have still, I have still haven't played it, so I don't know if it's any good. But if I'm correct, it's one of those games where you just keep playing the stage over and over again to get materials to upgrade your weapons and armor. I'm pretty sure it's that type of game. Go ahead, I already know the main character is Chaos. Or I should say, the main character is Garland. And Garland is Chaos. So, I already know that much. I still haven't gotten to that game yet. I do... Uh, I do know that the DLC... Uh, of that game... lets you fight the Emperor for Final Fantasy 2. And that's a nice callback. But I don't know anything other 
I don't think I know anything else other than that. Granted, I think, like, Strangers of Paradise is, like, pretty cheap to get. Isn't it, like, 20 bucks or so? Like, it's not that bad now. You attack that, you go after the rotting corpse. The cane should probably get healed. Oh! Hold on, let's get rid of the rotting corpse first. There we go. Since everyone's asleep, now I can use Power Shield. Heal up. Basically, they make Garland, Chaos, and Hopes for the Greater Good, and Four Heroes from it. Yeah. Well, Final Fantasy 1 Garland was all, always Chaos, so it's not like that was a, uh, it's not like that was a uh, plot twist for yeah. the plot twist of Strangers of Paradise is that you are playing as Garland, not that Garland is chaos. But you already know his last name, Jack Garland, so. Whoops. Sleep. Uh, let's heal up while I have the ch opportunity. Treasure up here. And we get a lottery ticket. I actually need those. <laughs> you go out to Gargoyle, Rotting Corpse. Yeah. No, it was Strangers of Paradise. The twist isn't that Garland is chaos, because we already knew that from FF1. The twist is that you're playing as Garland. That's that's what it is. So even though you already know his name is Jack Garland, that should probably tell you. Unless they don't reveal his last name until the end of the game. Again, like when the city opera Am Amia was still playing. Jack Garland was added into it, and guess what? They call him Jack Garland. <laughs> so, not really hiding much there, are they? Okay, do we want the southern path? Dead end, never mind. Okay. There was also another staircase on the northern side. I forget which way leads to a dead end and which way leads to another treasure chest. I think it's the southern path that leads to a treasure chest, which is why I turned around. Unless I'm misremembering. At least Maria is very fast. She has a lot of speed. She doesn't really need a speed seed. If they... Are there speed seeds? Find it funny how they gave FF1's backstory. Well, FF1's like, we're a basic fantasy story. Uh, hold on, hold on to that. Treasure! We found the armor of Erdrick. How did it get here? 
How did the armor of Erdrick get here? Anyway, uh, who has it? Okay, hold on. I am going to... Oh, we don't need the Echo Flute anymore, so we can throw that in storage. Now let's throw the lottery ticket to Kane. It's fine. Uh, armor of Erdrick. Only the main kit... The Prince of Middenhall can equip it. Light sword, armor of Erdrick. We don't, we don't want that. Helm, belt. okay. Right. Uh. Okay, so we found the armor of Erdrick. Still here. Um. Uh, there it is. There's the achievement. Okay, you know what? Let's go through the nor northern path. I should head south first. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, it... Okay, so... Erdrick, Erdrick's armor got a nerf. There's no HP recovery per step. It got nerfed over a hundred years. I mean, it makes sense why it has the HP recovery per step. In Dragon Quest 1, you are the only character. But it'd be kind of too broken if it was still the thing. If that was still the case here. But no. Yeah, Final Fantasy, it, it is kind of basic, but you kind of forget that it has, like, future tech within it. Remember, you go to, like, a space station. You know what, let's, let's heal. There we go. You go to a space station to fight Tiamat, and there's robots. Like, it's not just a basic fantasy story. Granted... This game has robots, but not in Dragon Quest 1. Unless you count the Armor Knights, but I don't. Like, the only future tech that's kinda in Dragon Quest, at least in this game, is the one enemy type that's a robot. Final Fantasy 1 had the one robot that gave you an item, but then you go to the freaking floating space station. Maybe it was 2 HP per second when they first made it, so now it's 200 years later. Oh, it just degraded over 200 years. Uh, okay, Maria leveled up. Strength by 2, speed by 3, vitality by 1, HP by 9, MP by 2. And she has also learned outside. Oh, that is nice. Hey, we found a giant hammer. I could sell that. Still fantasy. Robots in medieval time is fantasy. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, I just think when you throw robots in the mix, it's not traditional fantasy, I guess. I don't know how else to call it. Like, Dragon Quest 1, I, I would say, is straight up fantasy. It has nothing that would be anything else that would add, like, sprinkle sci-fi in there, you know? This one has the robots, here and there, as enemies, near the end. But that's the only thing. I don't know. It's just a thought. Do I even bother casting sleep? I don't think I will. There's only one Berserker. This is the correct path to get out of the cave. This is where I was worried. Okay.
Let's see. Is there treasure in this room? Okay. How do I want to handle this? Staff of Thunder? Okay, not, no effect. Hargon Knight. Taken out. Uh, can I cast Sleep on them? Okay, you can put them to sleep. Good to know. Because Surround was not going to help. I guess we'll just go with Physical Attacks. There we go. As you can tell, because they're Fire Beans, they could probably just use Fire Breath on you. That's not a good sign. Uh, is there treasure here? Unless there's one in the bottom right corner. There doesn't seem to be one. Okay. So now we need to find the correct path to a staircase somewhere. Oh, great. Dragons. Four of them. Let's try sleep. Dragons are very susceptible to sleep. That is nice. We don't want them to use fire breath. One thing to note about Dragon Quest games, especially in the later ones, like, you'll find late game equipment that will have less defense than, like, say, the strongest armor. But they have the effect of reducing breath damage or something. Normally, those types of armors are better than just the pure defensive ones. More often, you need, you're going to be taking a lot more damage from breath stuff and magic than physical, de physical attacks, especially with, when you have good armor anyway. Kane's level 21. Strength by 2, speed by 4, vitality by 2, HP by 4, MP by 8. Oh, and they dropped it. Excuse- A Sword of Destruction? What? What is that? No, I gotta look that up. I- I don't think I've ever seen this. Oh, is it called Sword of Ruin? Okay, no. Sword of Destruction. Uh, Sword of Ruin, okay. What, what the hell? His attack power of 105 or 93 in the NES version, the single highest bonus in the game, so it's the single strongest sword. It can only be equipped by the Prince of Emitted Hall in the NES version, but the remakes of Prince of Cannot can equip it. It can be dropped by Gigantus and Green Dragon. So There's no drawback. The Sword of Ruin is not, not a cursed one, is it? Hold on. One of the most powerful weapons in the game. If not the most powerful, yet the power comes out of the pro Sword is cursed. There it is. If equipped, the wielder will occasionally become paralyzed for a turn in battle. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, the sword features an unusual design of bones and skulls and has, the, has an axe head at the tip of the blade. It's kind of a cool design, honestly. But yeah, it is a cursed item. I wonder how much gold that, that can be sold for. Oh, wait. It, it did say it could sell for 11000 <laughs> Hey, can you drop another one? Yeah, I am not gonna... I'm not gonna take that risk of getting cursed. No, thanks. I'm good. Oh, it only... It only hit one of them. 
Alright, um, what's the best thing to do? Power shield. Sleep. Didn't work, didn't work, no! Why are you attacking the one that's asleep? Nope. Okay. That's bad. This is bad. Power shield. Power shield. Alright. Okay. Power shield. I need to try sleep again. I just got very lucky on that first fight. One is asleep. Power shield again. Let's try to get the other one. Didn't work. Okay. Kane's at full health. We can let him attack. We are casting sleep again. Didn't work. Why are you attacking the one that's asleep? Oh, they're both awake. out right now I'm I don't have a way to revive anyone Kane power shield sleep didn't work didn't work I could try surround let's try surround Okay, it does work. Obviously not with Fireball, but... Maybe that'll help some of the damage. Scorching Flames. Okay, we both need healing. Nope. Gonna heal again. If both decide to use Scorching Flames, I'm probably dead, or I need to be at full health to possibly survive. Okay. Kane can attack. I will try sleep. Okay, good. It worked. I'm gonna top myself off. Don't you hate it when the game misleads you to thinking they're, like, susceptible to sleep? No, I just got very lucky. Alright. I can't say. I have to leave. I have no way to get out of this. Alright. Let's... Return. That was a good run, though. We did find the sort of... Uh, not the sword. We found the... The uh, armor of Erdrick. So that's something. And we did a good uh, armor run. Alright. I need to revive the hero. Revive? Fire donation? Yeah, sure. 440 gold. Let's use the N. Hey, let's throw stuff in storage. And, uh, do I want to go buy a shield right now? I might go and do that. I'm not going back to Rome right now. Because I don't know how... Well, I will have... Uh, hold on. Let's see. Let's start with items. Okay. 
we might as well just throw the armor a guy and it's not gonna hurt anything. Y oh yeah, it really is a lot longer. Uh, we can throw the echo through flute in, we're done with that. We don't need the echo flute anymore. Uh, Statue of Evil, we don't need that. We've opened the way to the Cave of Rome. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look up the Hades shield. Hades shield. It's gotta be a cursed one, isn't it? 30 defense. It is cursed. I don't know how it's cursed, but it is cursed. Part because it is, and part difficulty, right. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what? I think I'm gonna sell the shield as well as the sword. Let's see. Like, we haven't real we haven't done anything like extra out of the way, you know what I mean? We haven't really done any like specific level grinding, you know? Let's throw let's sell the giant hammer. We just got that randomly. And what a cool uh item drop that we got. But I'm selling it. That's a cool item drop. That should be it. For selling. Oh, she also... All right. Let's deposit. I'm missing an item. We can throw the lottery ticket in. Two lottery tickets. And let's throw all of the gold in. All of it. There we go. So. Yeah, we got a lot of gold just by going through the Cave of Rome. We're going to do a couple more things before... I got I got a couple things to do, but... So I'm going to wrap up soon, but I'm going to take care of a couple things. Besides, I need to... I need to look up uh, how I want to handle the next little bit. So... Some of the achievements going forward require us to level grind. And while I still need to find some treasure in the Cave of Rome, I might be better off level grinding by fighting the metal battles. That might be the better spot, but I need to look into it. Use the XP export? Pretty much. Uh, but before I wrap it up, I'm going to take care of a few loose ends. Normally, at this point, if I wasn't doing anything, like, level grinding related or, like, these achievements, I'm at the point where you go through the Cave of Rome, get to the other side, and then you can go to the final dungeon and beat the game. So we're... we're Game-wise, we're almost done. Achievement-wise, not really. So we're going to... One thing you have to do, though, before you actually go through the Cave of Rome, once you have all five of the symbols, you go north from here. You have to go here. I don't think this game has a level grinding exploit. Just, you know, kill metal babbles and you get, like, 10,000 EXP. The five crests started shimmering. beautiful voice is heard out of nowhere. Who is it that called me? I am the great spirit of this great land, Rubis. What? You are the descendants of Roto? Then listen to me. Long ago, I made a promise with the great hero Roto. When you showed up, I remember that promise now. Let me grant you my protection. Some day, when you are disoriented and tricked by evil illusions, use this. Without fail, I will assist you. 
Now go, descendants of Roto. I will always watch over you. Oh, oops. That was the achievement, and you have to do this. Make sure to do this with uh, before you fully go through the, to the Cave of Rome. Where is it? Here it is. Obtain the Charm of Rubis inside the Spirit Cave. And remember, you have to go into the Cave of Rhone to get one of the symbols. Luckily, the symbol's right at the entrance, but yeah, make sure to not go all the way through. I mean, granted, if you uh, are playing a later game with Zoom, then sure, doesn't matter. You Google and it tells, it tells me EXP. Oh, Dragon Age, I see. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we have the Charm of Rubus now. We need to keep that with us. It's all good. I have it all. I have brain farts all the time. It's nothing new. So, I want to do three things. Let's get another Leaf of the World tree, since we use ours up. Thunder. We might as well buy another power shield for Erdrick. Just to have and just get it done now. You know what? I think I'm going to cast Repel. Yeah, I'm going to cast Repel. Let's see if we can fight less enemies. But yeah, once you have the Rubus Charm, you if you're playing this version or the NES version, you can safely go to the go all the way through to the Cave of Rome. I really wish this lasted longer. Still keep going south. Go left. Let's grab another leaf. Call four, you use idiot savant with that statue. You get a ton of EXP. But if you go full on with the settlement stuff, you can make like a or battle arena and start farming EXP from en enemies instead. Okay, so it seems like there's just a couple ways to EXP farm. Interesting. And you can basically do that like immediately when the game boots up, or do you have to play a bit? At least for the idiot savant thing. Obviously, you have to build the settlement to get the arena. There we go. We got a le another Leaf of the World tree. Let's hand that to Maria. Alright. Let's go to this town... I forget the name. And grab a power shield while we're here. You think Repel would have affected these guys, but I guess not. And they called for help. And that's what the Staff of Thunder is for.
All right. It's time to go in here. How much gold do I have on me? Okay. Let's go to the vault. Get back here. Withdraw. Gold. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of gold in the vault. All right. First, let's buy a power shield for me. I will not equip it, but I can use it as an item. You can kind of do it immediately when the game boots up, go straight halfway across the map, grab a magazine for building stuff, then walk back home and build a statue with copper. A lady called Trash Can Carla shows up often at the beginning in that beginning settlement so every three days she refreshes her shop to get more copper that should be a problem since water farms are eat shouldn't be a problem okay. all right what items do i have okay i honestly don't well, it's nice to have, but I don't need it. Gold and silver keys. What? Let's hand the gold and silver keys to my character. Item management. The charm of Rubis, I guess I'll keep. After a little bit, I might not need the world map. But I'm still going to keep it for now. I think once we're ready to go to the Cave of Rome, like fully, we might just put it in storage. That's so nice to have. Maybe I'll hand it to Kane when we need to. Yeah, I might do that. I'm going to give the Jailer's Key to Maria. Okay, what do we have? Prayer wing. Prayer ring. Wing of Chimera, which I might not need. Power shield. Leaf of the World Tree. Jailer's Key. What am I using my gold for? I don't need a minx coat. It's just defensive. That's all it's for. Yeah, money shouldn't be a problem since water farms are easy. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant. Minx coats are good defensively, but that's all they have going for you. I'm not going to go for it. So, what I will do, since I already have all the power shields I want, I'm going to buy another light sword. However, I'm going to hand it to Maria. I'm doing this so that way she ha she could cast a free surround. So that way she doesn't have to have she doesn't have to cast a spell. Deposit. Deposit gold. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to grab the mink coat. One other... Oh, Molly. One other thing to do that I th think we should be able to handle now. Oh, no. Um... What's the fastest way? Okay. Just head east. Or west. Um, my bad. We're going back to basically the moon tower, or the town next to the moon tower. I was just considering whether or not I want to save there, so I could train against metal babbles, but I do need to go into the Cave of Rome. Actually, I still might save there. 
Molly, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm, al I'm almost done, Molly. Thinking about it, I think I still might save there. Because I still can't use the inn. Of the other town. But I need to go to the other town to take the warp to the drone. Yeah, I think I will save here. There's a lot of stuff that can make your runs easier. It's just shoot. You're just choosing to be Silver Shroud. So it sounds like with Fallout 4, if you know what you're doing, obviously on a first playthrough, you're just kind of exploring around. This is not what I meant to do. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to use Sap of Thunder. I don't think there's much of a reason to use Sap of Light. So now Maria, if she's going to use MP, it's really just going to be for healing and sleep. She doesn't need to use it for surround, which is very nice. But yeah, it sounds like if you know what you're doing with, fall with Fallout and you want to use a specific run for, for fun, you can basically start up the game and go straight to try to get that set up. Okay. No, uh, Step of Thunder. Settlement part of the game can really make the game really easy. The other games don't come back close to four getting set up, except for one. Really? Huh. Is this the reason why people like Fallout 4? I'm assuming Fallout 4 is the most popular Fallout. Or the one everyone talks about. It was... Which one was the bad Fallout? It wasn't New Vegas, was it? No, 76, I think it was. That was the one people don't like. Why are there zombies in the ocean? Now, I'm just not or in the river in this case. Oh my god, they keep putting me to sleep. Are these the corpses of people that drowned? And now they're rising from the dead? <laughs> a way to get the best items in the game, but it requires a lot of save scumming, I see. Makes sense. Okay. Um, and let's use our new light sword. Sound of illusions. There we go. Okay, um, almost to the town. All right. Let's see if the guy made the... If he made the armor. Do I want to save here? Yeah, I, I'll save here. Partially. It's mostly because of the gameplay and how much mods the game has. Alright. You've come! It is completed! Oh, the angel's robe of water! Isn't it beautiful? You should dress that beautiful woman and accompany you in it. And that is another achievement. I guess it must be step counter or something. I don't know why, uh, what makes him actually fully make it, but we got it now. 
Talk to Don Mahone in Teppa and tame the Angel's Robe of Water. But yeah, we will equip that to Maria. We don't need the Evasion Cloves anymore. Let's just hand it to Kane for a second. So. Evasion Cloves, if we hold it, hand it to Maria, it jumps, jumps her defense by 279. Angel's Robe of Water jumps her defense by 100 to 109. Staff of Thunder, Angel's Robe of Water. I messed up. Staff of Thunder, Angel's Robe of Water. Miss the cap. There we go. Alright. Alright. Time to sell the Evasion Cloves. I guess I'll sleep at the end. Stay at the end. Is this an this is an item shop, right? Yeah. All right. Let's sell the evasion clothes. There we go. All right. I am going to save. And then I'm going to call it. Because next time we're going back into the Cave of Roan to find more treasure. Oh, wait. I could I could have used my money for a falcon sword. Maybe the... Maybe the Kane... Maybe Kane would be better off with that, but... Eh. Fallout 4, there's a ton of mods. Gameplay's better than other games. The fact, two people from the and works are coming out in like one. Fallout 4, New Vegas, and Fallout 4, London. Hmm. More mods, I see. Yeah. We're gonna save here. Because next time we're going to the Cave of Rome, we're gonna find more treasure. And then I basically need to level grind, slash, I need to get more lottery tickets so I can get one achievement done there. And I think to level grind, we're better off using metal battles, which they're closer to here. So I'm not saying we're going to... Wait, you don't save? Is there no way to save in this town? Let me double check and see if there's a way to save here. I thought there was a way to save here. I thought for sure there was. And again, there wasn't one in the underground town. Tower of the Moon stands south of the village. That's the inn. What about this guy? Okay, nope, I can't save here. Never mind. Return. Alright. More games should add copper weapons. Exactly! Alright, this is my save spot, then. <laughs> Never mind. Um... I guess... I thought there was a save there. Alright, I guess we'll use the inn and then I'll save. Because I don't really need to use my money for anything. Uh, yeah, let's just go and save. Anyway, so the plan next time, Cave of Rome, get whatever items are in there, and then find, like, two or three more lucky uh, lottery tickets so I could get an achievement done with that, basically save scum for that. 75 gold. Lady, that's just, that's robbery, exactly. Uh, and then after that, basically I have to do a bunch of level grinding. So, yeah, that's the plan for next week. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. I'm not saying we're getting the game done next Monday, but we're getting close. Have a good day. Later.